Hey guys. Hey guys, Bean 10 Angler. So in today's video, we gotta talk about some news that affects Massachusetts and just all of the East Coast in general. So here we go. So I think it's fair to say that pretty much everyone who lives on the East Coast that remotely fishes or knows anything about fishing knows about striped bass and striped bass fishing. Besides tuna, I think stripers could be the most famous, most well-known just fish around. And they're probably one of the most important fishes for just the sport in general of fishing. Uh... Okay, so I drew this who knows when, but I don't know. I'm not a great artist, but um, I think if you showed this picture to people, most people would be like, oh, it's a striper. So people, for the most part, know stripers, and they're also, for this reason, they're fished a lot. People love to fish for stripers. A lot more stripers are getting killed than they thought. 9% of every fish released is, they think at least, is getting killed, which is about three million Wait, 50% of all the stripers caught that die, no, wait, 50% of the stripers that get killed is from catch and release, so that means even the fish that people take to eat, 50% of those get killed. Okay, I, if a million fish are caught, if a million stripers die, 500,000 are taken home and eaten. Five, the other 500,000, the other 50% is released and then they die in nature. Does that make sense, Kel? No, it makes no sense. 50% of the fish that get killed, the stripers that get killed, are killed because of catch and release related fishing. So the fish, a lot of times it's because of bait fishing. The point is, the stripers are getting killed, the spawning season, no good. The socks are way lower, they're being overfished. So, Massachusetts, and I think a few other states have taken action. If you're to go fishing this summer, spring, summer, whenever you go fishing, you can only keep stripers. Like, if you wanted to take one home, right now, or at least last year, it was you could take anything only over 28 inches. But now, they're only allowing you to take stripers of like a, a bracket. So, you can only take stripers between 28 and 35 inches. So they have to be within that length for you to be able to take them home. If they're over, you have to leave them. And if they're under, you also have to leave them. So this is the same thing that PEI had. They had a, what would it, windowed, a windowed limit. He's got one. This might be a keeper, guys. It's gonna be so small. So this is totally new, I mean, I guess they think it's gonna really help the striper numbers. I'm not sure exactly how that'll work or why they'd rather kill a weird range of fish. Hopefully this will take steps to help the stripers survive. So at the end of the day, stripers are really, I think, in danger and the Martha's Vineyard Stripe Bass and Bluefish Derby is totally taking out stripers from the derby. And it's called the Stripe Bass and Bluefish Derby, which is just insane. So, this has happened before. In the 90s, it was the same thing. The stripers were really in danger. And then they made a huge comeback, but it seems like they're taking another downturn. So, they're going to try to make sure that these fish are going to survive for generations. So, we'll still fish for stripers in the spring and the summer and the fall. But, obviously, since you can't fish them in the derby, there'll be a lot more stripers that'll live. And I think this will just help the general population in general. Um, we never fish stripers for the derby. We always fish the albies and bonito and sometimes bluefish. But, I mean, it's kind of a bummer. You know, you're not going to get those huge trophies that come in like the 50-pounders. But those 50-pounders will be able to live and spawn thousands and thousands of fish. So, you know, I think this is the right step for Massachusetts. And I think a lot of states are going to follow. I'm pretty sure they do. Um, I think overall it's just going to benefit everyone and maybe in five years the stock will be replenished, 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 people will be able to catch more big ones, you know, the big ones will come back, which is just good. Alright guys, so I mean this is pretty big news in the fishing world, I think it'll affect a lot of people that watch this channel or I think it's just interesting to know in general. And I will link the Massachusetts website below so you guys can go read that about the rules and regulations. Just tell me what you think about it. If it's good, if it's bad. 
What do you think of stripers? All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to subscribe. Bye-bye. Calm down. Nice. Renna, what is that? Who knows? Alright, turn off.